So we're in Photoshop 2021. We've just finished all the changes we want to make to our image. In this case, I haven't made any, but hopefully you've created an image you like, and now you want to export that image and use it in your project. So the process of saving images in Photoshop has changed slightly in these last few months with Adobe Photoshop updating in 2021. What we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the three most common ways to save your images in Photoshop. So just before we begin, if you do like this video, then do please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video if you found it helpful. So we're in Photoshop. I've made all the changes I want to do to my image. In this case, I haven't made anything, but hopefully yours is much, much nicer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner here and press on File, and then Save a Copy. So in this version, we can now save our image. So as you can see, I've already selected the format JPEG, which is an image format. But if you just press on this, you get a whole range of different options. You also probably be set on standard default, which is Photoshop. So there are three main options that we can use for when it comes to saving an image. There are multiple others that I am not going to cover in this video. I just want to use the three most basic formats that we can use. So the first one is, as I have selected JPEG, which is just a very good quality image, which does have some compression to it. We've then also got ping which is another file format that actually allows you to keep transparency within your layers. So for example, if in this image I have part of my background cut out, and what I can do is I can save that image as a ping, and what that will ensure is that that layer remains transparent within that space. So if you ever compile it on top of another image, that space will be transparent. And then the last one we have is TIFF. So TIFF is a larger file format. It saves much more data and you get a much higher resolution image. And of course, with all of these different formats, the best thing to consider is what you actually need to use your image for. For example, if I'm looking to store my image in a database and I want the best quality possible and the file size doesn't really matter, it doesn't matter if it's very large or very small, I'd probably go for TIFF because it stores the best resolution image. However, if I'm looking for something much more simple that I can perhaps use online, I might be considering more JPEG and PNG because they are smaller file formats. And of course, then ping has that extra quality in which it allows you to save transparent layers. So I'm going to do each of these in steps. I'm going to start with JPEG and press save. And as you can see, we now get a small option box. So we have a few different options here. I think yours will naturally be set to eight for quality, which is a high quality file. I always bump it up to the maximum just because I want the sharpest resolution. But as you can see, if I up the quality of the image, it does make a big difference to the file size. So that's something to consider if you have limited space or you want to optimize the file size rather than the quality. I can then press OK when I'm happy to save that image. I'm going to undo that and quickly go back to save a copy and select the next file. So I'm going to be using ping next and press save. And once again, you can see we get a formats option window. And once again, we can optimize our file according to our needs. So for example, if I'm looking for a large file size with a lot of data, and I'd consider using this one, which saves the fastest. But obviously, if you want to compress your file into a smaller file size, so you use less data, but you still have the same quality, it's obviously gonna take much, much longer to save. So those are different options. If you're trying to optimize your file size, it will take you slightly longer for Photoshop to generate the file. But if you have the time, then this is probably the best way to go. And then lastly, we also have TIFF. So if I go to save a copy again, and go to TIFF, and press save. Here we get a lot more options because the file size is much, much bigger. We can add image compression. If you don't want image compression and you want the resolution to stay nice and sharp, then obviously leave it on none. But you can apply a compression to make the file smaller. We've also got some other options, but these will generally not apply to most of the files that you want to save on Photoshop. So you can try and ignore these unless you're looking for specific options. And then once you're happy with that, you can press OK and it will save your file. So those were three different format options for saving images in Photoshop. Once again, remember the change in the update was that you have to go to save a copy and no longer save as to save your images. This might change in the future, so if you're in a more updated version of Photoshop, it might be in a different location. But if you're using 2021 Photoshop onwards, then it's likely to be in the save a copy function. Once again, remember to leave a like and a subscribe on this video, and do check out the other videos in the end screen to learn more tips and tricks on Photoshop.